you can to take uh, to ask about your efforts in improving your education process in general. Uh, you know, I'm first of all I introduce myself. I'm Marcello Scalisi. I'm a director of UNIMED, which is a network of Euro Mediterranean universities. In our association, we have 84 universities coming from all Mediterranean countries, the European countries and the South Mediterranean countries. Uh, our activity is to improve uh, research cooperation between the universities in an international cooperation framework, and in particular to improve the mobility of students, researcher and professor. Uh, we are uh, involved now in a petition campaign to, um, to uh, the European Union uh, to adopt a mobility program for students for Mediterranean, uh, from Mediterranean countries. We are thinking a sort of Erasmus, which is a mobility program of European students at university level. Uh, we are thinking at an Erasmus Mediterranean. Uh, you know, uh, the, there are a lot of problems concerning mobility with uh, third countries, uh, starting from European point of view. Uh, first of all, visa problem, immigration rules, and so on. But from our point of view, if we want to reform educational system, higher educational system is a very long process, and so on. But we can start immediately with a very large program of mobility of students and researchers in an easier way uh, in comparison with the, the situation right now. Uh, because the mobility of students is the first step to have a, a real uh, cooperation between North and South Mediterranean countries. Okay. Um, uh when you when you when you do anything and when you do activities uh, for this uh, process, what the what your motivation and other other uh, people with you, uh, what you feel and if if you face any difficulties or any problem as you as you told me, that that you feel you you will be continue with uh, your efforts and. Um, you, you will uh, you will not stop surely we know stop okay. surely. <laughs> but, 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 but what for motivation yeah, yeah yeah we have a different uh, positive answer to our uh, job to our uh, position because first of all we are following our petition that in the same situation is made by european member of the parliament and they are trying to do something to adopt, to create a new program for mobility students, for Mediterranean students. And uh, I hope that uh, with the, the European Parliament will be able in the next month to discuss. I don't know if they are able to, to adopt a program, but I, uh, the first point is to discuss. And what is possible to do? How is possible to do our neighborhood policy with uh, the new Mediterranean countries? I hope that will be able to discuss in a different way in comparison with the past, with, with Tunisia, with Egypt, with Palestine, and so on. Uh, another very interesting uh, situation is that we received thousands of answers to our petition. Right now we have uh, 3,400 signatures to our petition, and in particular uh, most are from Palestine which is very, very interesting, very, very important, is uh, just only this reason uh, uh, give us the idea that we have to continue in this uh, interesting uh, petition and campaign and so on. Uh, because they show us that it's possible uh, to think of the Mediterranean in a different way. Uh, in a different way, think starting from uh, students starting from uh, the activity that every day inside university a lot of students like you uh, do to prepare themselves and so on. Uh, in particular we received also uh, many answers, many signatures from professors, not only from uh, South Mediterranean countries but also from European countries. And I think that all the all people involved in uh, higher education uh, think that mobility of students 
uh, with the mobility of students, you are not wrong. Uh, you are in the right situation, the right way. And we have to uh, forget that the problem of uh, conflict or cultural uh, uh, conflict and so on. Because we have to help uh, not only South Mediterranean students to come to Europe, but also European students to go to the Arabic countries. Because I know a lot of students that want to spend a lot of uh, uh, semester in uh, Arabic countries to improve languages, to improve cultural things and so on. Okay, so uh, what, what, what's your message from your uh, participation in like, like the WISE Summit? What's, you want a, your voice or uh, something to read to everyone here at Summit, what's this voice or what was this message? Uh, uh, first of all, this idea of WISE, of cooperation, of uh, collaborating all together, is I think from a, a networking activities like, like an activity that we do day by daily by daily uh, is very very interesting and very important and for me the first reason to be here is to cooperate with, uh, with, the, other, with the other participant to listen to the other voice uh, to listen to the different uh, aspects of education uh, now the message that I want to, to deliver to, our, uh, to the other participant uh, is concerning the, 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 the situation in the Arab world. We need to help our friend from coming from the Arab world to continue in this, uh, in this uh, new political situation. And from the European side, from the Western side, to be able to listen the needs coming from uh, South Mediterranean, the Arab, the Arab world. Because uh, Right now, we are not, we was not able to, to better understand the needs, but we try to define our policy thinking at uh, our needs in comparison with uh, the, the, the Mediterranean partner countries. Uh, and the idea to cooperate, to collaborate with people coming from all over the world in this very interesting atmosphere is very, very, very important and very nice. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. So, uh, you, you spoke a lot about the uh, exchange and, and uh, mobility of students. So, yeah. why do you see that mobility of students is important? Is it just important for the uh, Arab world for, in, to the change happening right now in the Arab world to help them gain new visions? Or is it also important for the European students who are visiting the Arab countries? It's, it's important for both, obviously. It's important not only for the change of uh, the political situation, it's important first of all for people. Uh, because uh, when you go in another country, you have to, uh, you need to confront your uh, culture with another culture. Uh, the, the system of education, for example, is different when you go in another country. Also at the European level, not only speaking about uh, uh, European and Mediterranean party countries uh, level. And I think that when you spend a semester or some months in another country with other rules of education, of our education system and so on, uh, you will have, first of all, a very interesting experience of, uh, from a cultural point of view, but also from an education point of view, it open your mind. It's not important south to north, north to south. It's important for all people involved in, in a mobility program. I hope that in the future we will have I will be the program open to all the world and you can choose uh, to spend a uh, uh, part of your time in a university in USA or in Canada or in Asia and vice versa obviously because it's uh, uh, mobility is in this global situation is the key point because we have in Europe but also in Arabic countries a lot of prejudice concerning the other culture. We don't know very well the situation. When we think of the Arabic world, sometimes we think that Morocco is like Syria and so on, is the same as Arab world. You know, that is completely different the situation. And also in Europe, Sweden is not like Italian and so on. Uh, I think that mobility can contribute to open uh, the, the, the point of view of uh, the students and not only of professor researcher and so on. 
yeah, yeah, that, that, that's great. <laughs> so that, that, that was my question, and I really appreciate your answer. And coming back to the theme of the WISE Summit, uh, all of the, m I, I've attended a, a couple of debates, and they were all, all revolving around changing the educational system and changing the evaluation system of students. And uh, so th the evaluation doesn't only depend on marks and exams, and also to have the education to be quite tailored to the students' needs. So what do you think about that, and, and if you have any insights you would like to share? But thinking, my experience is, is limited to the, the Mediterranean countries, and uh, I, a, a common problem that we have, for example, on, in uh, uh, European Mediterranean countries and in uh, South Mediterranean countries is that the university are not so uh, linked with the private world, uh, enterprises and so on, industry and so on. I think that the first step is uh, to improve this uh, dialogue between universities and enterprises to create new uh, courses, new activities uh, to help the students to find a job after the, the degree, because the, the most important problem is not, not only education, but how to find a job after the degree. And thinking at Mediterranean uh, situation, which is different obviously in each country, but most of the studies are related to the public sector and not to the private sector. We need to improve the, uh, the private sector in particular and obviously we need to improve the studies concerning the developing of private sector. I think that this will be a key point to create new jobs because for the public sector to create new jobs in this economical situation it's really impossible in Europe like in uh, Arab countries. Yeah, th thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.